Welcome to my channel. I'm sharing with you some snippets of our August. We've had a lot of fun and it's been really good for me to have a little bit of time off social media and try and be a little bit more present for the children. I think in today's world where everybody's on devices the whole time, it was really good for me the majority of the time to put my phone down, to put my camera down and just focus on being a mum and saying yes to the children. Come on, let's go and do this. Let's go and have lots of fun. And so I really hope you enjoy this week's video, seeing what we have been up to. I will be back next week as normal and can't wait to see you then. Please remember to like, to comment, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The more comments and likes I get, the more people see it and that helps me grow my channel and continue doing what I love. made it. We are at the Side Saddle National Show. We left home slightly later than anticipated because Archie fell out of a tree. He didn't bump his head, he was just slightly shell-shocked, so I needed just to make sure he was all right before we left. We had a good drive. Coco's wrist is strapped up. She had her steroid injection a couple of weeks ago and is now working, working with the physio. Cassie's <laughs> very relaxed and very happy to be here, so hopefully it's a really fun weekend. Day one of the Nationals completed. We've had a really happy day. Just brought Cassie out for some grass. She's been such a good girl. They won their dressage, which was really super. Very, very proud. The wrist is hurting a bit. We've had a bit of cow pull and um, yes, not ideal, but she can rest now until tomorrow. And then we've got a few classes tomorrow and a few more on Sunday before we head home. But it's so lovely being up here and seeing lots of Lots of familiar, friendly faces, which is just lovely. We got filthy last night in his table, as you can see from her rug, <laughs> that I had to uh, give, her, give her another bath this morning. My, my dear girl, she's uh, such a sweetheart.
We're back from the nationals. <laughs> I'm standing by the muck heap. I've just emptied the muck out of the trailer. Wow, what an incredible few days. Um, so many different emotions. It was quite stressful because of Coco's wrist. We were just not very prepared. And I like to be prepared. That is my motto. You guys probably know that now. I think the absolute highlight, um, well, Coco won the dressage on Friday and then we won the family pony today. And just doing it with my girl was the most special, incredible thing ever. I think probably one of one of my great highs in life. I will look back and remember today so fondly. I hadn't had a chance to practice. Um, I just completely winged it. I haven't ridden Coco, um, Coco, Cassie side saddle since November 2019. And I was hoping to have a bit of a practice, but there wasn't time and we had a few saddle issues. So I just had to do it and put my best foot forward. The ring steward was um, a friend and she just calmed me down <laughs> and gave me a leg up and said, you can do it. And I just breathed, thought I'm doing this for my girl. And we won and I've got a, got a cup. I haven't even had time to look at the cup, but it was just so special and lots of old, old faces, wonderful faces and just, uh, yeah, really, really special, special weekend with my girl. Incredibly proud of her because she was in quite a lot of pain. It wasn't easy. I was dosing her up with Calpol the entire way through, but the physio said she's not going to do any damage. So go for it. And we start on her wrist exercises tomorrow. But um, yeah, a weekend I will not be forgetting for a very long time. Anyway, I have got a lot to unload and sort out and um, clean, <laughs> soon to be endlessly cleaning. Anyway, <sighs> we can breathe, we can relax. We've got a few days just chilled at home now. We came to Hever Castle in Kent. It's about an hour's drive from us. It's actually the child, childhood home of Anne Boleyn. I think the Tudors is one of my favorite periods of history. And it's been really fascinating spending the day here, learning more and just being surrounded by this absolutely magnificent place. This is the Italian garden. The castle is just stunning. The gardens are beautiful and we've all had a lot of fun. and I are out for a pony club, a pony club ride and it's quite hot to be honest, we've been sweating and galloping, even managed a little jump which wasn't necessarily my choice but Pony had um, other other ideas, she was going for it. Cassie and KK were looking very smart and I've got a little Bella behind me which is really lovely to be out um, having fun with our ponies which is what it's all about to be honest, we've had a lot of fun this summer, folks haven't we, lots of riding. And um, yes, anyway, we must trot on now. Everyone's whizzing ahead. So 
that we have arrived back in Devon and I thought before we filled it with all of our things, I would give you a tour around. So the sitting room is behind me and then into the kitchen here, which has got views out onto the river. It's pretty damp and raining today, but the forecast is improving as the week goes on, which is great. There's a big larder behind that door there. And uh, the first box is unpacked from the car. And then the laundry room in here. Downstairs, Lou. And then I'll just run you upstairs quickly. And then I must unpack because Simon's going to be getting terribly grumpy with me for not helping. Oh, little, little conservatory. And then views out to the river. The stream is pretty shallow. And so it's fine for dogs and children. Most of them, there's Coco bringing things in. Hang on, darling, I'm going upstairs before you fill it. And then, get some lights on, it's a bit gloomy. So this is the main bedroom here. And again, it's filled, filled with antiques. And it's got a little, little, tiny bathroom off this bedroom so technically it's an ensuite and then down the corridor here we have got a double bedroom which looks out onto the front garden and then I'm going to spin you round and down the corridor Let's look at some pictures and this is a twin bedroom here, which looks out onto the barns. Um, family bathroom here for the bath and a separate shower. And then large double bedroom down at the end, Archie's already put a few things in here. He loves having this room. And again, it's got views of the river and the barns at the front. And each property has got a travel cot and a high chair for little ones, little guests that come to stay. So I thought I'd just give you a quick show round. So we were really lucky we had a cancellation and I thought, do you know what? We're not going abroad. I'm going to own a book it and come back down and enjoy it with the family and yeah, just relax and recharge for a little bit. There's a birthday boy. We have just had a picnic in this most incredible spot. Just stunning. Look at that. Beautiful North Devon. We've just had the most exhilarating surf ever, haven't we? Yeah. We had a dolphin surfing with us for about 15 minutes. He was just playing around, having so much fun. Absolute highlight of our summer. Coco's completely obsessed with dolphins. It's been her dream to see them and swim with them. So to have one surfing with us, he was literally a sort of couple of meters away. Incredible, incredible. I don't know why I'm calling him a he. I have no idea what he was. Here come the boys. 
That's gutsy. It's just um, wonderful. So it was our little bonus holiday. I had somebody who changed their dates to uh, next year and I quickly owner booked it so we could come down here. And I've actually had a chance to really rest and recharge. Yesterday we didn't go anywhere. I just read my book on a sun lounger by the river and just, yeah, rested, which I think is the first time I've actually switched off in a really long time. So. I'm sorry, I have been very quiet and haven't posted anything new in August, but I will be back fully recharged and reinvigorated, having had a wonderful time with the children and with the family. We had a very, very long drive yesterday from North Devon up to Scotland. So this is Moray Fir and we are up here for a long weekend another one of my favorite favorite spots in fact my parents met up here and if i was a boy i was going to be called charles morrie after this bit of bit of water in front of me so i don't know it always i well i always love being up here i think because i'm a bit of a sentimental old fool really Arch and I woke up early and we decided to go for a morning run. He's off to explore. Right down the end there is a cave that we're going to go and investigate before we run back for breakfast. But it's just stunning. There's some people swimming in the sea over there and lovely to be back in this part of the world. Simon was at school up here and of course my parents met. So um, yeah, a very special place for both of us. So we're really, really looking forward to this weekend and spending a bit of time we're going off dolphin hunting again for Coco. She is so obsessed and after we had the pleasure of surfing with that um, with that dolphin a couple of days ago she's desperate to see if we can spot any more so we can go and do that this morning and yeah but we must crack on and run run up to the cave investigate that and then head back for brekkie. As August draws to a close, we are heading back down south after a magical long weekend up in Scotland. We've done all sorts of things this month from sailing, surfing, lots of trips, lots of outings, and it's been a really sort of special family time. I wanted to take some time off just to focus on being present for the children. And I say sort of being present because when you sort of trying to juggle YouTube and social media and all of those things. It's important actually just to take a little bit of time off and be able to say, um, I'm sorry, I think I'm being eaten by midges. It's important to be able to say yes to the children, not, oh, mummy's got to work, mummy's got to do this. And so it's been really fun just having some quality time with the family. We've done so much and it's just been action, sort of action packed month and just incredible to be beside the River Lockie. In fact, I wish I had my fishing rod and could cast a fly into here. It just looks um, very inviting for a keen, <laughs> keen fisherwoman, which, which I am, but actually I've um, not, had, not had much time for that, to be honest. Anyway, I hope that you are all well. I will be back with my regular videos um, from, from now onwards. And thank you for bearing with me and allowing me to sort of have time focusing on on the children and family anyway wishing you a really really happy weekend sending lots of love and i will see you again next week <laughs>